What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian with another Raid Shadow Legends video and today we're gonna try to be real positive, uh, a lot is going on um, there's a lot of debacle going on with uh, some of those events, some of those tournaments and everything but we're gonna try to stay as far away from this kind of mentality today it's not something I really like to do in the channel um, I like to get a positive vibe, right? And on those lines, before we hit with uh, the new deck of fate and everything, let me just let you guys know, I really appreciate, uh, seems that most people really like uh, my What's Wrong With Raid Shadow Legends video, it was kind of a skit, just something for us to have fun. In the end of the day, this is a game and we're a community, so I'm trying to do things that are a little bit more lighthearted, uh, light okay? And mentioning this, just so you guys know, I am pre-producing a couple of videos for Halloween. I'm planning to do a four video series uh, for Halloween. Uh, just something for you guys to have some fun. Okay, let me know in the comments if you guys, it's something you guys are interested, if you guys like the other video. Because uh, I plan to do at least once every two weeks. Just Halloween, I'm going to be doing a couple of more. All right? So... Let's let's get started. So, Deck of Fate just dropped today. And pretty much, I'll be honest with you guys, uh, you do have some decent prices, but they're not really decent enough for how much you guys are going to have to spend, be on resources and everything. In the most when we know we're going to be having uh, another fusion coming up, probably this week, right? So... Pretty much everything you guys get in here, um, I did some calculations. If you guys go by using sacred shards, it would take 20 shards. And if you put <laughs> a dollar amount on that, unless you're hoarding shards so much that you really don't have a rich spend, it's not worth it. Because that would pretty much be like $300, okay? Uh, you can get even better equipment, in the most because... We're talking about the Slayer set. You can get an afford pass. You pay $19.99 and get a lot more stuff. Okay, and the most because chances are a lot of those things gonna you're gonna have to reroll, and you may or may not get something besides flat st stats. So, yeah, I would skip this deck of Fate event. It's pretty much trying to sink more resources and things you guys don't need. Now, unless you are you you are going for uh, the so for Tor, you may want to run a little bit, but you pretty much I would say don't open your shards. Uh, if you have extra energy or whatever you have, just lever your champs champions, and that should be hopefully enough for you to get whatever points you need. All right, so let's get out of here. Okay, so Dungeon Divers start tomorrow. Um, I really have no idea what it's going to be. Now, we do know there's Freya coming up um, on the pool, okay, for summons. I'd kind of avoid that. Uh, I did go for, I believe, Odin um, in one of those last ones, and to be honest, wasn't worth it. Uh, you're going to see a lot of content creators opening shorts, trying to go for those. Now, you guys have to always remember, content creators, for the most part, not my case, I don't make enough money on YouTube for that, but they can get a tax break because it is a business expense. So, you know, keep that in mind. You're going to see a lot of short openings going for those, but a lot of them, uh, Hell Hades, for example, always say, hey, remember, that's a business expense, okay? It's not saying, hey, I'm opening my shorts, go open yours. It's just to show you guys pretty much like the chances you have to be able to actually pull the champion. So as of right now, I'm, I'm sitting on 100 Ancient Shards, 41 Void Shards, 4 Primal, and 2 Sacred. I could probably be close to do this deck of fate, but there's no way I'm doing it. Okay, plain and simple. In the most, uh, Plaren came out and said, yes, they will be having a deck of fate for Freya but you're not giving any dates. The problem with that is it's probably going to be with 
the event dungeon, right? With uh, Asgard Divide. So the problem with that is we have four weeks of dungeon, three weeks and six days, four weeks. Uh, what it means, we're looking at the Deck of Fate about two weeks after this Deck of Fate ends, give or take. <laughs> and we have a Fusion coming up for Halloween. Um, I'll be honest, for the most part, Halloween Fusions have been pretty solid. Uh, and, you know, end of the day, to be honest with you guys, uh, I like to go for the Fusions, even... You may have a fusion champion, he doesn't look good, his kit's not the greatest. But in the end of the day, maybe because they changed something in the game, uh, this champion just becomes OP. Okay, so I would go for the fusion. Uh, I would try not to use all my shards on that. I'll use just whatever's necessary. The good thing is the month's about to end. And finally, I may start getting some drops for Sacred Shards. Because if you guys haven't realized yet, beginning of the month, you start seeing a lot of shards on the market. You start getting a lot of drops from uh, Clan Boss. But as you start getting too many, the game kind of like downsizes the numbers, right? I get it. Uh, <laughs> so the percentage chance of drops is not steady. Uh, it could be that at some point, for every drop, it lowers the amount you get, uh, the, the percentage, to the point that you have to be really lucky. Anywho, so this is what's going on. Uh, I'm also holding from opening my crystals. To use my crystals on the summon pool, because we still have a day and 14 hours, so like a day and a half. And I, we don't know what's coming up. So it could be that you have a champion chase event. And usually this happens. <laughs> Believe it or not, if you guys pay attention, in the back end, last day or something of, of those summons, you usually will get, uh, you get something like that. You get a champion chase. Not all the time, but a lot of times. So I am holding up to that. Even, I may not even open those shards. I may let the system open if nothing pops up prior. Okay? Because it may or may not actually give to me the points. The other thing going on right now. Today, we have opening void shards. We have this guy right here. We're green. Now, we're green. If you guys are going for Mikagi, he may be interesting to actually get. But I believe tomorrow, we have Freya or... Freya going on, yes, with uh, Ancient, Primal, and Sacred Shards. And we're going to have a couple of other champions coming for Void. So you guys may want to hold on to your shards. But it's really up to you. If you're just waiting on this guy for Mikagi, you may want to run those. It's only 25 shards. Again, remember, we're going to have a fusion coming up. Okay, so keep that in mind. So yeah, guys. Uh, that's pretty much what's going on right now with the game. Like I said, I try to keep to a minimum uh, the complaints. End of the day, like I said, this is a game. It's for us to enjoy. And it's the time we try to take life not very seriously. Okay. Anyway, guys, uh, again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you guys like my idea to make some, to make some videos for Halloween. If you guys have any ideas, let me know as well. Uh, what do you guys think would be funny to make for Halloween? All right. I'm a filmmaker, so that's what I do uh, kind of for a living. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. And as always, I'll see you in the game.